As we take a look at the radar, thankfully things are settling down in Broward and Dade, but across the Keys, it is still pretty stormy. And Broward County, you're getting a break from all the action this morning. There was even a flood advisory issued in the morning until 11 a.m. for northeastern portions of Broward, including Pompano Beach and Lighthouse Point. But now the rain has moved offshore and in Miami Dade, I'm tracking a few showers streaming in around Surfside near North Miami, as well as Hard Rock Stadium and also a little bit of rain earlier in Homestead, but quite stormy here near Long Key, Duck Key Marathon, as well as across the lower keys around Big Copper Key and Key West. Speaking of, here we see a mix of sun and clouds from our Key West camera, not too bad, and actually seeing some more sunshine now from our Biscayne Bay camera with a few clouds around the breeze out of the east, five to nine miles an hour. It does feel like the upper 90s in spots because it is so steamy out there, although not feeling quite as muggy down through the keys or as hot because of the rain cooled air. Here's a Look at Tropical Storm Nicholas, which is moving northward at 12 miles an hour just offshore of the southern coast of Texas. Max is seeing winds of 60 miles an hour and forecasts to likely move on shore this afternoon. Evening tropical storm warnings are in place here along the coast of Texas as Nicholas is forecast to bring life threatening storm surge as well as heavy rainfall, flooding, and gusty winds as it moves through today and then continues to track towards the northeast as a depression likely tomorrow and then by late tomorrow until Wednesday, unfortunately, will be heading into Louisiana or whatever's left of Nicholas. All that moisture, though, could lead to heavy rain and some more flooding for areas still recovering from Ida. Here's a look at the infrared satellite of Tropical Storm Nicholas. There is a disturbance just north of the Southeast Bahamas that does have a medium potential of development. It is forecast to lift towards the north and west. Obviously, something we'll be watching closely. And then a wave emerging off the west coast of Africa does have a high potential of cyclone development and could become our next depression or tropical storm later this week. So here's a look at tropical storm Nicholas and all the heavy rain and flooding that's already beginning to occur here along the coast of Texas and even parts of Louisiana starting to see those outer rain bands. But for us today, still the chance for some passing showers and storms as the future radar and models indicating that as we head into around 3, 4 p.m., we could see another batch of showers and even through the evening rush. But the heaviest rain and the worst weather will be on the west coast and across the interior because of that onshore flow for boaters. No advisories, winds east 10 knots east, 2 to 3 light chop on the bays tonight. Scattered storms, warm and humid, 79. The next few days, the pattern doesn't change. We'll continue to need the umbrellas with passing showers each and every day, especially in the morning, and then showers and storms Thursday and Friday.